During World War II, the Blomenvoss BV-141 stood out as a one-of-a-kind aircraft created by the German manufacturer Blomenvoss. The aircraft became famous for its unique asymmetrical design, with the cockpit positioned on one side of the fuselage and the engine and tail on the other side. With its unique design, the BV-141 took to the skies and showcased exceptional stability and maneuverability. Let's explore together some significant and historical features of the BV-141 in today's exciting video. Standing out from the crowd, the BV-141 boasted an unconventional asymmetrical design, starkly contrasting the typical symmetrical layout in other aircraft. Located on the starboard side of the fuselage was the cockpit, where the pilot and observer sat, while the engine and tail assembly resided on the port side. This unique design was crafted to enhance the crew's visibility and boost the aerodynamic capabilities. The BV-141 was designed with an asymmetrical layout to improve visibility for the crew, primarily the observer. With the cockpit cleverly placed to the side of the fuselage, the pilot and observer enjoyed a clear view below and to the side of the aircraft, perfect for their reconnaissance and observation missions. Although the BV-141 had an unusual design, it displayed remarkable stability and ease of handling. The pilots who flew the aircraft found it to be highly responsive and easy to control, even when faced with difficult flight conditions. The aircraft's unique design did not compromise its flight performance, allowing it to execute maneuvers similar to those of other reconnaissance aircraft of its time. The BV-141 was designed with a specific mission in mind, to gather crucial intelligence on enemy positions, troop movements, and terrain features during reconnaissance and observation missions. With its exceptional visibility and steady flight capabilities, it was the perfect choice for the task at hand. This enabled the crew to observe and document ground targets effectively. Not only did the BV-141 handle reconnaissance duties and took on different roles, such as light bombing, artillery spotting, and maritime patrol. During the early years of World War II, the German Luftwaffe found great value in its versatility, especially when reconnaissance capabilities were crucial for military planning and strategy. Despite the fact that the BV-141 showed great potential, its production was limited by constraints in manufacturing capacity and conflicting priorities in the German aircraft industry. Just a handful of BV-141s were constructed, and they had a brief stint on both the eastern and western fronts before being replaced by other reconnaissance planes. The BV-141's development highlighted Blomann Voss's innovative engineering prowess. Crafting the design involved meticulously balancing aerodynamics, weight distribution, and structural integrity to guarantee the aircraft's stability and airworthiness. The BV-141's triumphant flight showcased the power of thinking outside the box when designing aircraft. Though the BV-141 had limited production and operational service, it is a remarkable example of German aircraft design in World War II. The intriguing design and distinctive look have captivated aviation enthusiasts and historians alike. The BV-141 is a testament to the innovative solutions and engineering brilliance that rose during the chaotic era of World War II. Not only was the BV-141's asymmetrical fuselage design meant to enhance visibility, but it also offered several other significant benefits. With a more streamlined and aerodynamically efficient shape, drag was reduced, leading to improved overall performance. Moreover, the offset cockpit shielded the crew, keeping them at a safe distance from the engine and reducing potential risks in an emergency. Aside from its primary purpose as a reconnaissance aircraft, the BV-141 showed impressive versatility for various missions. It can meet various operational needs and has sensors, cameras, and radio equipment. The Luftwaffe highly valued its versatility, allowing it to excel in various tasks. Not only did the BV-141 serve as a reconnaissance aircraft, but it could also be equipped for self-defense or ground attack missions. Defensive machine guns were installed to protect against enemy fighters, while specific versions could also carry light bombs or rockets for ground attacks. With this added firepower, the BV-141 possessed offensive capability, enabling it to confront enemy forces when needed. The BV-141 was deployed on both the eastern and western fronts during World War II. It found its place in reconnaissance squadrons and units responsible for offering intelligence support to ground and air forces. From the vast expanses of the eastern front to the rugged terrain of the Mediterranean and North Africa, the aircraft operated in diverse theaters of war. 
During its time, the BV141 was known for its impressive performance features, such as a decent top speed, excellent maneuverability, and a relatively long range. Its versatility in operating at various altitudes and weather conditions made it ideal for reconnaissance missions across diverse environments. With its stable flight characteristics, pilots found navigating and observing during extended missions easy. The BV-141 was crafted with the crew's comfort and safety as top priorities. The cockpit was designed with ergonomic seating and controls, ensuring a comfortable working environment for the pilot and observer on long missions. Moreover, the plane was outfitted with essential survival gear and safety features to improve the chances of crew members surviving in case of an emergency or unexpected landing. The BV-141 was crafted to focus on maintenance and logistical considerations, ensuring easy servicing and support in the field. The modular construction and standardized components made maintenance tasks more accessible, allowing ground crews to repair and maintain the aircraft swiftly between sorties. Throughout the war, the reliability and ease of maintenance ensured the operational readiness of the BV-141 units. The BV-141's distinctive design and operational history still impact aircraft development and design concepts today. The BV-141 program gained valuable insights regarding asymmetrical layout and aerodynamic efficiency. These lessons have since influenced the design of newer aircraft, leading to continuous progress in aviation technology. The BV-141 is remembered fondly in the world of aviation and beyond. Its unique look and fascinating history have captivated aviation enthusiasts and historians, inspiring various portrayals in literature, art, and media. The BV-141 is a testament to aircraft design's innovative and creative spirit, showcasing the ingenuity and resourcefulness of engineers and designers from World War II. The BV-141 came ready for duty with very specialized reconnaissance tools like cameras, infrared sensors, and radio intercept systems. These systems collected valuable intelligence on enemy movements, troop deployments, and strategic targets. With the high-resolution cameras, the aircraft could capture intricate imagery of ground targets, offering crucial information to military planners and decision-makers. Equipped with electronic countermeasure systems, the BV-141 was ready to face the challenges of hostile airspace, disrupting enemy radar and communications. The ECM systems had the remarkable ability to disrupt enemy radar signals, outsmart enemy tracking systems, and shield the aircraft from being spotted and intercepted by hostile forces. By incorporating ECM capabilities, the BV-141's ability to penetrate enemy defenses and carry out reconnaissance missions was significantly improved. The BV-141 was operationally flexible and adaptable despite its asymmetric configuration. This allowed it to help ground troops in several theaters of battle, from makeshift airstrips in isolated areas. Commanding officers' strategic decisions and tactical tactics were influenced by the aircraft's long-range reconnaissance missions, frequently deep behind enemy lines. Flight crews and pilots of BV-141s received aircraft-specific training. Handling the asymmetrical layout and reconnaissance and evasion of opponent defenses were taught. Doctrine for BV-141 missions stressed stealth, speed, and surprise in acquiring information while protecting air crews. Despite its short existence, the BV-141 advanced aircraft design and reconnaissance technologies. Asymmetric configurations were explored when their unique layout challenged aircraft design and aerodynamics thinking. Research from the BV-141 program affected reconnaissance aircraft and aerial surveillance systems. In short, World War II aircraft design innovation was shown by the Blohm & Voss BV-141. Its unusual asymmetrical configuration, strong performance, and adaptability make it a noteworthy aircraft. BV-141 contributed to reconnaissance technology and inspired subsequent aircraft designs, despite its short production and operational duty. Its reconnaissance capabilities and electronic countermeasures helped collect information and assist military operations on several fronts. Aviation historians and fans still admire the BV-141's inventiveness and resourcefulness in the face of technical hurdles. BV-141's remarkable design and operational history make it a classic of aviation excellence and a tribute to wartime aircraft engineers and designers' pioneering zeal.